scams is the largest scam that we see that individuals lose money on. Anua at 10, a warning tonight right before Valentine's Day. Some people want to steal more than just your heart. They want to steal your cash. ABC Big 2's Rob Tuke joins us live now from Odessa. Rob, we're getting advice tonight on how to watch out for these romance scams. Well, that's right, Madeline and Carson. These con artists are using romance apps and online dating websites to connect with you. But in the end, they won't just break your heart. They're going to break your bank. And tonight, there are some major red flags to look out for. And everyone is out there trying to find that perfect one, that perfect somebody. Hearts, roses, the internet, and some massive red flags. Cupid might not be the only one to strike this Valentine's Day. They play on people's emotions and heartstrings, and before you know it, your pockets are empty. They're coming after unassuming, lonely hearts on social media and online dating sites and apps. They're also ready to invest anywhere from months to a year to swindle you of your money. They come in, they have a great story, they're very interested in you, and they spark up a conversation that usually takes off pretty quickly. She says to watch out for these red flags. Employment claims. They travel often, work weeks at a time, and may be hard to contact. Immediate love confessions. Treat with caution. Hesitancy to meet or video chat. They don't want to be seen. And the biggest red flag, asking for your money. Through wire transfer, cash, or gift cards. Often with a sense of urgency as if their money is tied up elsewhere. A lot of times with romance scams, people are embarrassed. They don't want their friends or family to know. But Massey says it's always important to report a romance scam. Just head to bbb.org slash scam tracker. It's easy to do and it gets the word out. Jeanette Harper of the FBI's El Paso office says these scammers will learn as much as they can about you. It's to fool you into thinking they are your soulmate. Right away, they're the perfect person. They like the same songs as you. They like the same food as you. Political views, you know, such the things that you put in your dating sites. Jeanette says the FBI's data shows the scammers are usually males. They're targeting women over the age of 40. And last year, $1.4 million in romance scam losses were reported just in West Texas. And the FBI says just one month into this year, four cases of romance scams have been reported in West Texas. Now, romance scams happen all year round. If you have questions about whether or not your online love interest is legitimate, the FBI and the Better Business Bureau says the best thing for you to do is to get the advice of your family and friends and hopefully a second opinion, one that you can trust. Reporting live in Odessa, Rob Tuke, ABC Big Two News.